Hey everybody, so in today's video what I want to talk about is a financial product called a reverse mortgage and why it might be a horrible financial decision for you, your parents or even your grandparents. So these products are targeted at people who are already in retirement would have had their mortgage paid off a number of years ago. A reverse mortgage allows you to release equity from your property so you can basically take a loan out using your property as security. What really appeals to people and sucks people in is that you do not have to pay down any of this loan in your lifetime so you don't have to pay down any of the principal or the interest basically until you die. What happens is when you die your house is sold and the proceeds from the sale are then used to pay off the loan or else your children or whoever can actually pay off the loan and then keep the house. I think this type of product could become very popular even though it hasn't been very popular in Ireland over the last number of years. I could just see one company actually offering the product and they were called Spry Finance. So back in 2018 they only had a loan book of 250 million and I think they stopped offering the product to customers for a while but within the last year they are back at it again and offering products to customers once more. The reason why I think this type of product could become very popular is because of the severe rise in house prices in Ireland. So you'd have a lot of people who have properties that have grown significantly in value over the last year. So some people in certain areas of the country have seen double digit growth in the value of their properties but they cannot really access that wealth because it is all tied up in the property and a lot of these people might be just living off the state pension which is very hard to eke a living off. The cost of living as we know is gone crazy with the prices of oil and pretty much everything going up so you might have people with very wealthy assets but not have enough to keep them going week to week. So these types of people might be tempted into the likes of reverse mortgages so they can get their hands on some extra cash to help them I suppose support their living. But a reverse mortgage can destroy a lot of wealth as I will show you in a moment. So to be eligible for one of these products in the first place you need to be over 60 years of age, you need to be a resident in the Republic of Ireland, your home that you plan on releasing equity from must be your principal private residence, you cannot use properties like holiday homes or investment properties or even business properties for reverse mortgages, just your principal private residence. The property must also have a value of at least €250,000 if you are based in Dublin or €175,000 if you are based outside of Dublin. So now let's just briefly go over how much you can actually borrow with these reverse mortgages. So the minimum amount that you can borrow is actually €20,000 and the maximum amount that you can borrow will depend on the value of your property and your age. So a person that is 65 years of age can borrow 20% of the value of their property, somebody who is 76 can borrow 31% of the value of their property and somebody who is 85 years old can borrow up to 40% of the value of their property. So basically the closer you are to dying the more they are willing to give you. Now let's just get into some of the downsides of these reverse mortgages. First off they are quite expensive so the interest rate that is charged on the balance of the loan continuously is 4.95% if you're going to get one in Ireland and that is much higher than what you probably would have been paying on your mortgage in the first place. So most people in Ireland at the moment are paying rates of between maybe 2.5 to about 3.3%. And because you are not regularly actually paying off that mortgage at all, the interest starts to grow on top of interest and compound and compound. So a small loan can turn into a big massive sum. Let's say for example, one guy in retirement wanted to get his hands on 60,000 euro worth of cash to help him get through his weekly expenses. So let's say he took out this loan in 2022 and he did not pass away until 15 years time in 2037. In 2037, the balance on that loan will actually be 98,000 euro. So it will have accumulated 38,000 euro worth of interest, which is pretty huge over 60% of the original value of the loan. Obviously it is not going to affect the person who passed away. They obviously don't care about it anymore, but it is going to affect the next generation, whoever is going to be inheriting that person's assets. So basically 38,000 euro worth of wealth has just completely been destroyed. So this product might suit people who don't have the next generation to actually pass something on. But if your parents or grandparents are talking about one of these reverse mortgages, maybe first try and talk to them and talk about some other options that might work instead. That could work out better financially for everybody. Two other options that you could possibly go with. The first one is downsizing. People obviously will be fairly attached to their house and want to stay in the place they live. With downsizing, you may be able to access the cash that you need without having to 
rack up a big massive interest bill. But if you were sentimental about your house and you did not want to leave, obviously that would not suit a lot of people, then that might not be an option for you. Another option that could be looked into is some sort of sale and leaseback agreement. So you could sell your house on to maybe the next generation and remain in the property for the rest of your life paying rent. Again, there will be more options available to you, but one thing you should definitely do is talk to a financial advisor if you find yourself in one of these types of situations, because you do not want to make a mistake that is going to cost you or your children thousands and thousands of euro. So anyway, that is my video for today. I hope you found it some way useful. If you did, please make sure and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. 